Ah, the Eastern Sierra, land of incredible mountains, unparalleled hiking and outdoor adventures, and $700 hotel rooms? I refuse. Here at Renegade Retirement, we're all about living life to the fullest, but without breaking the bank. So today, we're taking you along with us on a weekend getaway and showing you all the incredible things the Eastern Sierra has to offer while traveling on a budget. One of the most overlooked costs when it comes to travel is food. We are always so shocked by how quickly things add up, even when you're not eating out at fancy places, even if it's just like, you're going to the gas station, you want some snacks. So to keep our costs low, we never leave the house without snacks. Now, don't get me wrong, we do love eating out while we're on vacation, but we do keep it to just one restaurant per day at a place that's really tasty, but also very affordable. So we'll show you some of our favorite places to eat out in the Sierra. But in the meantime, we just love our peanut butter tortilla roll-ups. These things are so cheap. You can get a pack of 10 tortillas at the store for about $2.50. You can get a monster thing of peanut butter for only seven bucks. We use about a third of this. Extra Crunch Skippy, this is the stuff. All in, we're looking at $7 for all 10 of these tortilla roll-ups. And this will generally keep Adam full for the majority of the weekend. Now, I'm not lying when I say that if I don't feed him these snacks, that guy will be trying to feast on fast food all weekend long. And he's not just the kind of guy that can walk into McDonald's and just order one egg McMuffin. No, no, he must get two. So with all the unhealthy food that we're avoiding with these snacks, the way I see it, I'm not just saving money, I'm saving lives. Well, gas is still really expensive. We always fill up first thing before we go, and then first thing when we get back. So we know exactly exactly how much gas we use on the trip. Uh, one of the really nice things about having an economy car is it costs us half as much to fill up the tank as it used to. Well, we are at our first adventure of the weekend. We're just outside Mammoth and we are snowshoeing out to what are supposed to be some pretty incredible natural hot springs. Now, most people, when they come to Mammoth, they spend hundreds and hundreds on the Mammoth Ski Resort, spending all their day skiing down the slopes. But for us, uh-uh, nowhere we drop in a couple hundred bucks on some ski lift tickets when you can have all of this beauty all to yourself. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Listen, you guys, just listen real quick. There's nothing around. It's just us, we're the only thing for miles. We might even get these hot springs all to ourselves. Free 99. Well, you could pay $450 a night for a mammoth hotel room with a jacuzzi, mm -hmm. or you could snowshoe out here. It is so warm in these hot springs. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Completely free. Utterly beautiful, surrounded by gorgeous mountains. It's really quite something. All for free. I mean, this is the life we're talking about, you guys. This is Budget Sierra. <laughs> well, that was incredible. And we just wanted to share with you guys, the land that we're on right now is actually all BLM land, which means that camping here is free. And we typically love taking advantage of free camping, but this weekend I decided to take an overtime clinic for work tomorrow morning, which means that I do need a hotel with Wi-Fi just for the morning. So we will stay in a hotel tonight, but the trade-off is that I will make way more money working just that couple hours. That'll definitely pay for our hotel room and more. Well, despite the fact that I made Adam some insanely delicious peanut butter burritos, sometimes he refuses to eat them in favor of Pop-Tarts because he thinks that beautiful views like this cannot be enjoyed without a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Pop-Tarts are also super budget. <laughs> <laughs> How much is a Pop-Tart? I think a Pop-Tart's about 30 cents. Oh my gosh. They're really cheap. Okay, I guess that's even cheaper than the burrito. You win. 
All right, what do you think? Should we go check into our hotel? Let's go check in. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. We paid $99 for this hotel room. We have a rule that we don't pay more than $100 for a motel room per night, if possible. If you're planning to travel to the Eastern Sierra and get a hotel room rather than camp, the best way to cut costs is by not staying in Mammoth, which is the most expensive town in the area. Instead, we always stay in the town of Bishop, where the hotel rooms are way cheaper and the town is so cute. Between our travel credit card points and reaching genius status on our favorite motel booking site, we managed to find some pretty darn good deals. So it's not luxurious by any means, but it's warm and it's cozy. The heater's going. I'm pretty stoked. Okay, 49.09. Second fill up. Second fill up, and that's our that's our kind of halfway. So it's going to be just under 100 bucks total. Oh, we just feasted at our favorite dinner place in Olive Bishop, Astorga's Mexican restaurant. One way we try to cut costs while eating out is by not ordering alcoholic drinks and trying to split meals between the two of us. This fajitas and guacamole is massive. So we were able to fill two hungry tummies for the price of one. Yes, Adam ate all the guacamole, but we are super, super full and all of that food was $50, including a very nice tip. I think we are both sufficiently in a food coma, and that means we're gonna sleep like babies. So we will see you guys in the morning for some more Bishop Adventures. Good morning. It is breezy and brisk here in Bishop at 7.30 a.m. Elise has started her remote overtime clinic and thanks to HIPAA medical rules, I am not allowed to be anywhere in the vicinity when she talks to patients. So I was unceremoniously dismissed from our hotel room at 6.59 a.m. and sentenced to wander the streets of Bishop for about four hours. However, that is not as tragic a fate as you might think, because Bishop is a beautiful place to wander, and I'm quite looking forward to showing you a montage of my favorite spots here, starting with this amazing river walk, where as you can see, I'm the only one on it. Really lovely. Well, I was forced to truncate my Bishop montage due to a uh, sooner than expected rainstorm. However, I got a great idea because Elise is finished with her overtime clinic and you guys really need to see the sunburns that we acquired yesterday. No, oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> They're so funny because we just had no idea it was gonna be as warm as it was. So oh we God. didn't know we were gonna be hiking yeah. without our cold weather gear on. So we took it off. We were not sunscreened on that parts of our body. So check out Elise, you can vote on who has the worst burn. Okay. Elise, turn, wait, turn, turn around first, Elise. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Look at Elise's back. It looks so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I even know how to sunscreen? And then, and then you got this can you see on my neck how it's like I don't even know what happened here and why it's like patterned like That's this. pretty well. And then mine is just the quintessential kind of farmer's <laughs> But it is really dark. Oh like it is god. quite a burn. <laughs> that is an R2 <laughs> sunscreen fail. Yeah. Those of you who watch Live Hard, Low Hard know that we always have some kind of a debacle on every adventure. <laughs> and the sunburn was definitely uh, this week's. I'm hungry though. Are we going to go get food? Yeah, we are going to conclude this video at our very favorite place to eat in Bishop. Yeah. 
and you will see why when we show you the delicious meals we're about to get. Let's go get brunch. We are at Jack's restaurant. It's our favorite restaurant in all of Bishop. We're about to chow down on some omelets and blueberry muffins. I cannot wait. Jax has the most incredible blueberry muffins you will ever have in your entire life. The blueberries are massive. We don't even understand how they manage to keep this muffin so moist. It's a magical mystery. Not to mention, the omelets and hash browns are bigger than the size of my face. We leave here feeling absolutely stuffed for a grand total of $30 all in. Well, as you might be able to tell from the rain that is just pouring down all around us, the atmospheric river has rolled in early this morning and we have got to get back on the road before it completely starts flooding and we're stranded here, however nice that might be. We were planning to take you guys with us to the awesome bouldering that's all around Bishop, but we'll just have to save that for the next time. In the meantime, what an awesome trip. I mean, we took advantage of the one single day this entire year that was free of rain and snow, and it was just magical. Really was. One day, one weekend day. There have been some weekdays, but they did us no yeah. good because we were working. No good. Final costs about, when you factor in, two delicious meals out, mm -hmm. the hotel, mm -hmm. and all the gas, mm -hmm. just under $300 mm -hmm. for the trip. Mm -hmm. When you factor in the 450 that our breadwinner made this morning, we wind up about $160 ahead Ooh. for the weekend. Yes. That's how you get to early retirement. Hello, early retirement, right? <laughs> Really hope you guys enjoyed this weekend trip. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you thought, if you would have done anything differently to cut your costs even more. Yeah, well obviously camping would be a good one and we're going to do a lot more of that in the mm -hmm. summer when we don't have overtime clinics yeah. to do. But we'll see you guys next time. See you next time.